I've heard a lot of flat earthers say that they want a demonstration of a ball that is able to spin at the same speed of the earth, traveling at the same speed of the earth, and water still be able to stick onto it using gravity. Now, I've come up with a demonstration that doesn't prove the gravity part, but proves the rest of it. And, that, and it will show that water can, in fact, stick to a ball that is spinning at the same speed as the earth, traveling through space. Now, a little bit of context. If the earth was the size of a billiard ball, which, it is slight, which this is slightly larger than, the difference between the top of Mount Everest and the bottom of the Mariana Trench would be less than 0 .005 inches. I think it is safe to say that that means that the depth of the oceans would be less than 0 .003 inches, given that the Mariana Trench makes up for 11 of the 20 kilometer difference that between the two points. And that the depth of the water, when I wet this ball, when we wet the ball, we can tell that the depth of the water, when it settles, is clearly larger than 0 0.003 inches. I think it is safe to assume that. So then I will set it on this motor. Whenever this decides to focus. There we go. Set the ball right there. Now this motor is a mount that you put on a telescope that will spin at the same rate that the sky spins above us. Therefore, this is making one rotation every 24 hours, the same angular velocity as Earth. And that would be 0 0.0000729 radians per second. That is a very tiny amount. That is one repetition, one revolution, every 24 hours. Not 24 minutes, 24 hours. So let's let, wet the ball one more time because it dries out. That's not part of the demonstration, but it is. Set it on top of that to where it is spinning at 0 0.0000729 radians per second. And we can clearly see that the water is sticking to it and not flying all over the place. We can also see, well, that this ball can fly through the air at massive great speeds, which if this was actually in relation to the Earth would probably be close to the speed of light when this thing decides to focus. There we go. We can have this thing fly through the air, this and that, and there's no water flying from this Earth. We can do that number and the water ain't flying from this Earth. The same depth, if not deeper than the water on Earth, is not flying from this earth, no matter how the fuck we spin or do any of this. Why? Well, actually, in this demonstration, it's because of surface tension. But the whole point of this is to debunk your claim that it's not possible. Now, this does not prove why it does it. It just does not prove how. All this proves is that your claim that it's impossible to do so is false. Your claim that it is impossible for water to stick to a ball that is spinning at 0 0.0000729 radians per second is false. 